In the equity quadrant, taking a look at the NASDAQ, which broke down today, the September NASDAQ tried to rebound, but today was the day that it broke down to its lowest level since June 12th. Now it's the second consecutive day lower for the NASDAQ, but yesterday was a small dip in the midst of this three-day rebound that the NASDAQ was trying to get off. But today was the continuation and the actual breakdown. The high today was a gap lower of about two tenths of 1%, 21 basis points to be exact. 19.883 was that low. The low today is still ongoing and there's still some time left in the session. As I speak to you right now, the futures have a low of 19.281.25, which is down about three and a quarter percent and we're sitting down 3.22% as I mentioned, with some time left in the session. So we can't really say that that's the final low. I can just tell you that it's unlikely that we turn positive anymore today because there's probably not enough time left in the session. Earnings season is off to a mixed start so far, but Tesla and Google seem to disappoint the markets and drove a big sell off, a big tech sell off, at least for today. Apple down over 3%, Microsoft down about 3.6%, Facebook down about 5%, Nvidia down almost 5.5%. And the two who reported earnings today, Google, Google and Tesla, Google down 5.1%. Tesla down about 10.7% with time left in the session. Also, front end yields are dropping more than the back end and that's driving a curve flattening in the curve. So what does that mean? Well, if the front end yields are dropping more aggressively, that means more Fed easing is being priced in. And this becomes a be careful what you wish for kind of a situation, especially because the back end is not following. We get this curve flattening and aggressive easing could be pointing to the Fed thinking there's a recession. We're not there yet, not even close, but that could be one of the ways that the market is interpreting the curve flattening and selling off risk assets because of it.